Right, so this video is all about, I reckon, the most ridiculous race in history, Tour of King Jai Lake. It happened a lot pre-2020. pre, pre This is the first edition back. We're just going to run through some stages, and then I'll show you uh, stage seven, because I reckon stage seven was really interesting. Helen McBoran won. Um, he won the overall, and I, he's an interesting rider, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Stage one, 2,200 meters, uh, just some laps, but, you know, never goes below that. Pretty flat. Stage two, we get up to 3,800 meters before we descend in back to 2,300 is a 20 kilometer climb. Then we have stage three, again, three and a half thousand meters. Um, we go over 3,000 meters twice and almost 2,950 again. So ridiculous stage, start and finish well over 2,000 meters. Stage four, we get up to 3,650 meters um, and again, finishes at close to 3,000 meters. So it's just at ridiculous altitude, this whole race. Then we go again, stage five, more ridiculous, 3,700 meters. None of them are mountain finishes, but they look hard races. Stage six, straight out the blocks up to the Chima copy of the race, 4,100 meters. Like that is just ridiculous. Finishes 3,000 meters, um, another climb at close to 4,000 meters. Stage seven, again, 3,700 meters, pretty flat stage, which we what we're looking at today. Still very selective just because of how high it is. And the final day, uh, don't get below 3,000 meters, more or less at any point. Again, slightly flatter. So yeah, a crazy race, all at mega altitude. Um, and yeah, super interesting to see. So we'll hop onto stage seven and do some analysis. Stage seven up to 3,700 meters, a 7K climb, 6%. And for A block, Razjenberg is on the front. Look, Razenberg, sorry, is looking very strong. Uh, there's a couple other guys in the break as well, like uh, for Bardiani. Um, and in addition, we also have the Mongolian riders as well. So Mulboran is actually quite, or Mulboran, sorry, is quite far behind. Um, he's in the bu bunch batch. He managed to get across no stress um, with uh, some Burgos BH riders, um, including Fagundes, who was kind of his big rival on the general classification. Um, you can see here, uh, he's on the front, just absolutely driving it. And people are just getting spat off the wheel, left, right and centre. Not really too surprising, to be honest, because the altitude, as you can see here, 3,500 metres is crazy. Now, you might be wondering, why is Mulubran so good in altitude? Well, he was born in Asmara, which is like 2,400 metres up, so high altitude native. So obviously, this is a lot higher, but nonetheless, are going to be a lot more acclimatised compared to a lot of these guys. Having said that, I do believe most people who go to this race do try and do some kind of altitude, because otherwise, you would be crying. It's kind of amazing how good... Um, a lot of the Europeans who aren't high altitude natives are. But you can see here, like, uh, Malobran's caught more people and this Thai rider just chow chow, thanks for coming. Um, like, it's such a hard climb that, um, you know, it's just difficult to see. So here's the top of it. It's 3,700, so on PCS, but obviously this is wrong. This is uh, the Mongolian rider who was looking strong, to be fair, dropped Rasenberg in the end for the KOM points. And there's Rasenberg, who's a big unit, and he is getting over. But anyway, the yellow jersey, who was... Uh, for Medellin, he was dropped as well. Um, again, they always do well at this race, the Colombians um, and kind of people from high altitude backgrounds obviously succeed in a race where most of the race is at ridiculous altitudes. So we go to 41. Well, this is basically them coming over. So you can see they had 15 seconds maybe behind. Um, they then end up catching them. So there's two BH, three BHs, three Bardianis um, and Mullo Brown's looking strong again in the African uh, Continental Champs kit. Um, and some guys behind as well, looking strong. But this race then, to be fair, had a long flat and then it had like one climb left, which was like only a couple K long at 7%. You can see here the pressure is being applied. People are getting spat um, a lot. Uh, as you can see, this Scardi rider is saying chow chow. You can see yellow jersey, two minutes 45 back, no stress on this. And then from the top of this mountain, it's basically a descent the whole way. Um, Burgos at the moment have three, one of the Bardiani riders was dropped, but before the end, you also see another Burgos rider was dropped. So there was that end up being two of them, uh, Mongolian rider. Um, you can see this is Fagundes for, from Uruguay, who gets the KOM points. And this is basically the final selection here. So two from Bardiani, two from Burgos, uh, Razenberg from A block, and the Mongolian rider as well. So coming into the finish, uh, it makes sense for them to really just pace for Mulubran. He's a good sprinter. You know, he's not like the fastest man around, but in a reduced bunch sprint, for sure, you reckon he's done it. You can see there's quite a lot of damage been done on that climb. 
again, just goes to show this climb is not hard in reality. We're going to skip forward. And this is actually, I think, a perfect lead out. Mulleran knows if he's on second wheel, the guy might slow up and then people can jump him from behind. So he lets it go. Rasenberg tries to close it. He has one error here, which is the Burgos BH rider doesn't close it. He needs to be on Rasenberg's wheel because this almost goes extremely pear-shaped. So Rasenberg's chasing it. Rasenberg is looking and the Bardiani rider um, is starting to slow up. But if you look behind, the Burgos BH guy, not on the wheel. Big error. As you see, Mulobran's now got a long way to make up. He starts a sprint, but he's just nowhere near the wheel of Rasenberg. Anyway, no stress for Mulobran because he's got a mega sprint. Gets into the draft about here. And then when he comes past, he comes past with a significant amount of speed. And to be fair, Rasenberg did launch it early. I reckon 20 seconds sprint, maybe more. Here he sits down, looks behind, sees the Mongolian rider coming up. No stress, gets the big win. Um, and that was actually pretty important because he only won on count back. The following day um, in stage eight, uh, yeah, he, he actually finished 15th, I think it was. Um, but won it on count back. Um, so pretty... Pretty impressive. He actually at the same time as Fagundes, who was the um, Burgos BH rider. Um, they had 49 seconds over everyone else. But anyway, mega result for him. Hopefully he gets snapped up by a World Tour team. Um, but yeah, super interesting race. Just crazy high altitude. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.